Line 5 is a dual pipeline uh, that crosses underneath the Straits of Mackinac between Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. And uh, it's in one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and if you've been there, you will agree. Clear water, beautiful skies, I mean, it's an incredible place. Line 5 is an artifact of the 20th century. It's like a great emblematic artifact of the 20th century. An oil pipeline crossing beneath uh, the largest uh, reserve of, of surface fresh water on the planet, which was es essentially installed in a few weeks, you know, permitted and installed in a few weeks. Would not happen today. The, the, the line is over 60 years old and there's a major campaign in Michigan to shut it down because of the risks that it poses to the Great Lakes and it's operated by a, con by a company, Enbridge, that, it, that has already proved itself incapable of operating, uh, managing well the pipelines in Michigan, the largest uh, oil spill the largest inland oil spill in the United States history occurred in southern Michigan on the Kalamazoo River from an Enbridge oil pipeline that's connected to Line 5 um, um, that was delivering Alberta tar sands oil to a refinery in, in Detroit. Line 5 is a, a cog, a stretch in a, expand, in, in a net pipeline network that three companies are proposing to expand in North America in order to transport tar sands oil, Alberta, Alberta oil sands oil from Alberta into the United States for export as well. Now, there are really important questions to be asked about this. One is you can shut down Line 5, we know this, studies have been made, you can shut down Line 5 without affecting oil supplies anywhere. There are, there's lots of capacity in the oil pipeline system to deliver oil to the refineries that are now taking, taking that oil. Two, is there a need for expanding the oil pipeline uh, network in North America? The pipeline companies say there is, but they base it on the fact that the tar sands capacity in Alberta will expand, will increase. Well, tar sands capacity is growing, but at a much slower rate than it did four or five years ago when oil was $100 a barrel, not $44 a barrel. And the, the producers of tar sands oil will tell you they need to have oil at least $60 a barrel to make a cash flow. And so major oil companies are abandoning the tar sands. Exxon, $4 billion written off. Conoco, Shell, the Chinese, they're starting to move out of the tar sands because it's a terrible investment. So is, is tar sands oil capacity going to increase significantly? Don't think so. Don't think so because globally, the amount of oil that we're using is flat. It's increasing very, very small. Why? Cars are get, vehicles are getting much more efficient and electrical vehicles are coming online fast and natural gas vehicles are coming online much faster. So you have to ask, who's financing and what are the numbers that are backing a multi-billion dollar proposed expansion of North American pipelines? And the third piece of this is people are fighting it everywhere. The pipelines are under siege everywhere they're proposed. Kinder Morgan's pipeline from the tar sands to the west coast, under siege. Uh, Enbridge's type pipeline through the Great Lakes area region to Maine or Canada on the Atlantic side, under siege everywhere. And Keystone XL pipeline from uh, Hardesty, Alberta to the Gulf Coast for, for uh, Production is gasoline to be exported under siege everywhere. And it's not even clear that Nebraska is going to approve it. So we're in this really interesting time where citizens are responding. Pipeline makers are saying we're going to need the capacity. And bankers are in the middle of this saying, do we want to go here? Do we want to invest in this? How long does this investment last? Is, is our billions going to make, make, you know, return profit? And the opponents have gone out after the, that financial piece of the picture, looking at investors. So, you know, investors are beginning to, to uh, divest, disinvest from these fossil fuel projects. This is extraordinary. I mean, this wasn't happening five years ago. 